in order to subscribe to my channel please click here or click here please share comment and like my videos and channel hey guys this is Gaurav welcome to SAS with ServiceNow this is our follow-up session of ServiceNow service catalog training in this session you will learn about additional configuration of variables in service catalog variables can be configured for different requirements you have from your customer and clients there are a lot of customizations which need scripting however ServiceNow has made a lot of customization configurable so that you don't have to do scripting in order to fulfill those requirements or those customizations the first configuration option we have is configure a default width for service catalog variables so how can you configure the width of a variable this is my personal developer instance in order to show you all these configurations I will create a catalog item I will go to service catalog and create a catalog item demo for additional config I'm creating this catalog item and I will create a variable so I will create the first variable I will keep type as single line text and I will give it a name so maybe name one now in order to set the width I have to go to this tab type specifications I will go here you will see this field variable width I will set I will select it as 25 percent by default whenever you will create this variable it will always be 50 percent width and you will see the difference between all these width so I'm going to create this variable and I'm giving the order as 10 so that it shows at the top first variable is created I will create second one with another width give it a name name 2 I will go here I will select 50 even if you don't select 50 it will still uh, uh, select the size as 50 person that is the default size so I will keep it 20 and I will submit it then I will create third variable I will give a name name 3 type specification 75 percent order 30 submit it and I will create last variable that is fourth variable with size that is width 100 I will give name as name 4 type specification here I will select 100 percent and I will give 40 and I will submit it I will open the form in a different tab so that you can see the difference of all the variables I will open this one and click on try it so you can see we have all the variables which we created now these are of different sizes the width is totally different so this is 25 percent 50 which is the default and this is 75 percent and this is 100 percent so this is how you can change the width of your variables as per your business requirement the next configuration we have is how to define a regular expression for a variable you must have written a lot of scripts for validating the variables the user input so if you have a variable and that variable just uh, should accept numbers in order to do that you have to write a script now ServiceNow has this functionality where you don't need to write script for regular expressions validations in that case ServiceNow has made these options configurable so if you will go here and we will go to our catalog item and if I go at the bottom I will open the first field 
let's open this one now you will go to type specification tab again and here you will see the second option we have validation regex regular expression for validations now if you will select here you will see three different choices number url and us zip code that means as of now these three validations are available now you can also add more validations here you can create multiple definitions you want but before that let me select the number for this particular variable and let me save this i have saved and i will go to my form now as of now you can put anything you want because i have not reloaded it but now i will reload it and this time it will only accept numbers so if i will type alphabets click here it will give an an error message not a number that means this field only accepts number now as you can see only three options here and i mentioned this is also configurable and you can add more options here how you have to go to service catalog under service catalog you will see variable validation regex under catalog variable separator under catalog variables click on this option so you will see all those three options which are visible in that particular field so now you can add your own validation any new validation this is out of the box but if you want to add your own validation for any particular field now this is not field specific you just create that uh, regular expression validation and you can apply it on any field you want so in that case let's apply it for alphabets so i will click here i will create a new regular expression so i will give it a name so maybe i will give alphabets i will give the message that means only alphabets that's what you can do for regular expression you can do it starts with this square brackets and i can put a hyphen z in small in in lower case and then i can put a hyphen z and i can put star and i can do dollar that's it we are done and i will submit it once you will submit it this definition has been created so this regular expression is created now you can apply this on any variable you want so we will go back to our item we will go to maintain items we will go to our item and we will open the same variable where we added that number expression so i will go to number one field that's on the top name one here we have selected number so now you can change it to alphabets so i will do alphabets and i save this once you will save this now this field this variable will only accept alphabets no numbers let's see how it works if i reload it if you remember this field was ex accepting only numbers and you were, it was showing the error not numbers only numbers and it was not accepting alphabets now if i type alphabets it will accept it and if i type numbers and click here it will say only alphabets so this is how you can add regular expression validations without scripting you don't have to write any kind of client script for your validations of different variables for user input the next configuration we have is how to pass variables between tasks now as you know that variables are basically processed in workflow and um, in in uh, execution plans which are related to and associated with requested items now it might happen that you have created multiple tasks which are assigned to different groups however there can be one task which needs some uh, which needs some data from the previous variables 
the variable which is required in in second task but the third task still needs that data in that case you have to make that variable global so if you will go to your catalog item and your variable so you can see this form and we have this field called global so that means this particular variable can be passed to different tasks as well but in order to do that you have to make it global then only you can do that so that's how you make this option as as part of the configuration and you can pass these variables to the tasks between the tasks the next configuration we have is service catalog data lookup as we have assignment data lookup for incident we have priority data lookup for different task we have where you select the urgency and impact and it pushes the priority accordingly as per the the lookup data or the rules which you have defined in service now system similarly you can also create this data lookup for service catalog if you will see here and you go to data lookup and if i click here so out of the box we have these three definitions assignment priority and even for problem pri priority problem lookup because it might happen that for problem it might be something different so in that case you can also create a new definition specifically for service catalog in order to do that you have to click new button here now here you have two options now this is for normal task you have where you have incident change problem or any other tasks and if you want to do it for service catalog lookup that means for variables that's that's how you can do it from uh, catalog data lookup rule so you click here and then you can create your definition now here we have this matcher table as of now it is showing you only three tables but you can create it yourself as per your requirement now how exactly you create that table in order to create that table lookup table rule you have to go here create a new table so if you will click here so you can create any table you want so maybe for example test catalog but you have to make sure that you are extending it from data lookup and that's a that's a table you have to extend it from it and that's how you can select it in your matcher table so this is how you can work on service catalog data lookup rules so you can define different rules which you define in for example an assignment or priority lookups you can also do it so maybe just an example that if you have uh, uh, if you have a catalog item where you have some options like you have gold package silver package or bronze package and by selecting those packages you want to show some fields and set some fields automatically in that case you can do this data lookup if you select gold you will see these options if you select silver you can see these options you can set these options like you set urgency and impact and it modulate the priority field automatically so that's how you can use uh, service catalog data lookup configurations as well the next configuration we have is how to audit service catalog variables now as you can enable auditing for fields how can you make it enable for variables for that it's just a straightforward property so you have to go to system properties under system properties you have service catalog and this shows you all the properties of service catalog all the system properties and there is an option which says audit so let me see that so we have to search so I will search for audit so we have this option here 
So we have audit changes to service catalog variables. So if you want to enable it, so out of the box, it is already enabled. If you want to uh, audit this variables or whatever variables you have, and if you don't want to audit them, you can disable it. So this is how you can audit service catalog variables. The next configuration option we have is service catalog variable editors. So I will show you an example. Let's go to our catalog item. We are going to maintain item. And I am going in our catalog item here. So let's say we have this form. And I put some data here and I fill it. I will just remove it for now. And I'm going to submit this. Now, if I submit here, where exactly you can see this variable editor. Now, as you know, users can fill the data like we just did. But how exactly you can still edit these variables? So even full filler can edit these variables. So if you will go to your request item, so we have this request, and if I go to requested item view, you will see this section, all the variables. Now this is called variable editor, where you can add the variables, even full filler can add the variables. Now how exactly you can uh, do some configuration that your user, for your user, this field is read only, but for full filler, this is editable. In that case, you go to your catalog item, you have to write a UI policy, catalog UI policy. So I will go here and I will click here, catalog UI policy, and I will do set read only. And here you see some options, applies only on catalog item view, that's a user end user view, applies on catalog tasks or on requested items. So if I will make one field read only, and I will check this box as well that it says applies on requested items. If I will check that box, in that case, on both the view, even on end user view, that is the front end, even in the fill fuller view, in both the cases, the uh, field, the variable would be read only. But if I just want to make it applicable just on end user view, in that case, or maybe we will make it name four and I will submit this. So I am making this variable read only, only on catalog view. And I will go here. So I will go to my catalog item. I will show you the form. So you can see this field is read only for end user. But if I submit this and I go here and I go to requested item, you will see a difference. Here, this field is editable. So this is how you can configure variable editor. Debug actions on catalog item variables. So as of now, you have configured all, all these variables and you got to know about how to uh, configure uh, different options for your variables in service catalog. Now we will learn about debugging actions on catalog item variables. So you can go to your catalog item, click on try it. Once you will click on try it, you will have to right click here and you will see show variable action logger. When, we, when you will click here, in that case, you can see what all scripts are running. Now, this data is not uh, saved in your database. This is just showing you what exactly, uh, what kind of policies, what kind of scripts are running on your variables, different variables. That's, that's what it, it shows. And, and in that case, you will be able to debug if you are 
not able to get the uh, expected functionality or maybe expected value or if something is not visible that's how you can see what kind of what kind of scripts are running on your on your catalog item and I can track all the validations over here and the, as of now you can see we have just written one UI policy that is set read only that is something you can see and it also shows the field and on which field on which variable it is running and it also shows the action details so in this case you will be able to debug your service catalog item variables debug a service catalog variable now you can also directly uh, debug a variable like we do fields how exactly you do that let's close this variable action logger we have these four variables now in order to enable debugging for service catalog variable you have to click on the setting option you have to enable this JavaScript log and field watcher click this when you will open enable this you will see this option at the bottom this is for debugging and this is the field watcher now what we will do we will click on the uh, label name we will right click over there and you have this watch variable I have to see what exactly this field is doing so I will click on this watch and you can see this uh, like uh, insect here so now this field is being watched so if I reload it so let's reload the form if I reload it so I I think we don't have that option enabled yet again so I will enable it and I will make it medium so as of now we are watching this particular field but I think it is not applying any kind of any kind of uh, you can say any kind of validations because when you when you do that uh, and, and if I change something then only you can see so if I click here order now let's see if, if something happens I think because uh, form has routed to the request uh, request uh, view in that case I think you will not be able to get anything in this particular log because for that you have to put some validations maybe the UI policy or maybe you click a button you change some some options and you have put in some validations then only you will be able to get because it tracks all the business rules because as of now you have just created the catalog item and you have not created any uh, other policy UI policy in that case you will not be able to see that but if you will for example change some options like first option is selected and at the same on the same screen you are changing the second value maybe you're making it read only or something in that case you will definitely see some data here and you will be able to debug that what exactly the issue is so this is how you can debug your variables as well so overall we learned about different configurations you have for service now service catalog variables i hope you like my video thanks for watching